what we do is we just stick a flat tip screwdriver right in between the, the black cover and the back housing. Pull it off. There's your back antenna cover. You got three screws that you got to take out. One, two, and three. Okay. Got your SIM tray. I'm going to take that out before you even pop the back cover off. That's going to be held on. Take that out. You can try to take it out with these uh, extraction tools that come in on the sides. Basically, you got to crack the sides here, but these are just too awful to work with. Um, this is called the iPhone Cheetah Mount, invented by iPartsRepair.com. Um, basically, you stick it in here, put a couple of bubble wraps on the top and the bottom. Um, we got a modified hook butter knife we'll stick it over here so we can we're gonna push this up and at the same time we got a, a wood chisel tool pop it on the side like that come back here on the second side Simple to do. Grab. And when you remove this cover, there's an antenna, I mean the headphone jack cable, power cable still plugged in. It's really easy. Lift that up, this car this part's done. Now what we always do is start up there's gonna be three screws holding this on, the motherboard. Um, whenever we take these things out, first we start off with taking off this camera. Just pop it out. You have an antenna, in, antenna um, right here plugged in and an antenna right here plugged in. Um, the bad thing about these antennas is that there's glue around it. Um, so we just get a, a knife um, and cut around it. Um, the bad thing you could do is just lift up on it. Um, and we've learned the hard way doing that, that sometimes you'll just lift up on it and the whole connector underneath will pull up too with it so not a good idea to just lift up on it so once we got that cut off just go underneath and lift up the whole thing now you're still good perfect condition cut this side out and basically all I'm doing is I'm just notching around the connector because this glue is kind of good, good and tough. So I'm just cutting around the connector so that when I lift the connector up, it's not going to lift the whole connector up at the same time. The connector part on the motherboard. Okay, so that's good to go. So this motherboard is pretty much ready for extraction. The first thing you want to realize is the... If you look at this battery on the right side here, does a, the charging dock cable runs on this side. So you want to stay away from this side. What we do is we always use a, this hook butter knife. Stay on the left side. Start lifting it up there. Start lifting up your battery. Got leverage for it. Now just lift up the whole thing. Flatten out the battery back up. Okay, so here's your battery, and here's that charging dock I was talking about. You want to stay away from. Um, taking out the motherboard, you got three screws. One right there. One right there. One right there. So what you do is you want to put the battery on top of it. What we do is we grab the whole motherboard, not the battery, we grab the motherboard, and there's this cable right here. First we grab the, we just pull the motherboard out just slightly, 
just to get that cable out. So basically, I pulled it out enough so I can get that cable out. Then now I can lift this whole thing up and unplug all three connect connectors. So you have this connector to unplug, this one right here, and this other right here, the LCD, the digitizer. I mean the LCD, the proximity sensor, and the digitizer. And here's your charging dock. And that's how it's all plugged in. Motherboard's gone, so now we got to take out the glass. You got to take this bezel off. There's ten screws going around this whole thing. So we're taking off the bezel right now, just so we can get to the glass. One of these screws is hidden right underneath this speaker grill area. Just realize you got 10 screws, you should be fine. If you find 10, you know you're good. All on the edges. screws. Now just lift this whole thing out like this. It'll just come out exit. Just like that. Here's your bezel. Bezel's done. What I do is I always take this tape off. Not fully off, but I take it off. I peel it off some. three little holes right here on this side you got these three little holes on this side those are where the LCD clips are in you just heat up your glue Slide it in on one side. And while this is all slid in, I'll get my flat tip screwdriver and I'll pop these all out. And don't worry if they go back in. So this side's done. And then I'll get on this side of the home button. Then I'll pop these out this side. One, two, three. Yep. The home button will fall out. There's the home button. Then I'll heat it back up on this side. Get my flat tip again. I'll slide it underneath here. The bad thing is, is this is where all the cracked glass is. It's a bad and a good thing. Okay. So now what I'll do is I'll flip this out and I'll grab it and I'll push this whole thing out. Okay. You got all these cables coming out. That's your bad glass. Okay. Now you got take off all. Make sure there's no extra shards of glass so all the gl crack was up here and there is no glass shards okay make sure it's all out if you get one little piece on there when you put the new glass on it's gonna stick on there and you're screwed and you might crack the glass from the back so basically here's the replacement glass um, a good one we took off on another phone um, salvaging it so basically you got all these cables right here that goes into those holes, this hole and that hole. So just guide it. Get that one in that hole. Got that in that hole. And you see this metal piece right here on the digitizer? It's going to go in the hole also. So just slide that in. Right. So it's, it's almost sliding in all the way. Now this piece, slide it all the way up. Okay. 
Now I'm almost, I'm pretty much good. Okay. Now the one thing you want to do is make sure you put your home button back in. Now if you look at your home button, there is a flat side on the top and a round side on the bottom. So just look for the flat part of the button and you're going to put it towards the LCD. Put it up. And first you're just going to sit it in. LCD gets popped in. Press your home button, see if it clicks. It's clicking. And then on this side, you want to tuck away, tuck away your digitizer. Now it's reverse step. Okay, remember that tape I took off earlier? I didn't take it off all the way. This is in. You put you tape this all back down. Okay. All we're doing is reverse stepping now. Putting it all back together. Okay, so that's good. Next step, we've got to put the motherboard in. This will probably be your hardest part. Best thing to do is I always put this right on my chest. Oh, I forgot about you guys. Uh, for the rookies, this is a latch. This one right here is a latch um, for the charging knock. Um, if you wanted to, the easiest way to do it for you as a rookie is to lift it up and slide the cable in and then relatch it. Um, we've gotten pretty good at just leaving it down and then sliding the cable in. After you do enough of these, you'll be a pro at it. It'll be like second nature, putting these motherboards back in. So basically, I would start off at the right side with the digitizer. Then the second one, the proximity sensor. And then this one is the LCD cable. Okay. So you got three out of the four cables that you have to plug in done. Then you got the last one. The LCD. We always know we find a slot and we push it in. Just like that, all the way to that line. You see that line right there? It has to go all the way to that. If you unlatched it, now, this is the perfect time to go underneath. If you didn't latch it um, like I, I didn't, you can go underneath here and just latch it now, okay? Um, I skipped that step because uh, I've, been I've done enough of these. Okay, so now, <coughs> screw in your motherboard. Okay, right here, everything's in. Now you can tuck your, tuck your battery in. Plug in the antennas now. Okay, go down in. This one I tuck underneath the board and then you plug it in. Every time once I get that done, get a piece of tape. Plug that back in. Okay, so now you got your camera. Pretty, face, pretty easy, just put the camera back in, where it do notch, and then you just snap that part in. This is your connector, right? 